Okay, the harder case is when you don't have an odd power. So what's the program? I'm gonna do the harder case, and then I'm gonna show you an example of how to uh, integrate uh, square roots uh, and do an application using these ideas from trigonometry. So uh, I wanna keep this blackboard. Maybe I'll come back and start here again. So the harder case is when they're only even exponents. I'm still trying to integrate the same form, but now all the exponents are even, so we have to do some game. And here the game is use the half angle formula, which I've just erased very sadly on the board here. Maybe I'll rewrite them over here so we have them on the board. I think I remember what they were. Okay, so the game is I'm going to use that half angle formula to start getting rid of those even powers. Half angle formula written like this exactly is going to, it talks about, it rewrites even powers of sines and cosines. So let's see how that works out in an example. How about just the cosine squared for, for a start? What to do? I can't pull, pull anything out. Uh, I could rewrite this as one minus sine squared, but then I'd be faced with integrating the sine squared, which is exactly as hard. So instead, let's use this formula here. This is really the same as one plus the cosine of two theta over two. And now, um, I, this is easy. Uh, it's got two parts to it. Integrating one half gives me theta over, oh, miraculously the x turned into a theta. Let's put it back as x. I get x over two by integrating a half. So notice that something non-trigonometric occurs here when I do these even integrals. x over two appears. And then the other one, okay, so this takes a little thought. The integral of the cosine is the sine, or is it minus the sine? Negative sine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> shall we take a vote? I think it's positive. So you get the sine of 2x, but is that right over 2? If I differentiate the sine of 2x, this 2 comes out and would give me an extra 2 here. So it's, there's an extra 2 that I have to put in here when I integrate it. And there's the answer. This is not a substitution. I just played with trig identities here and then did a simple uh, trig integral, getting your help to get the sign right, and thinking about what this two is gonna do, it produces a two in the denominator. <coughs> but it's not applying any, um, any complicated thing. It's just using this identity. <coughs> 